okay so in this video we'll discuss about magnetic flux first uh, the reason of magnetic flux the function of magnetic flux to produce how it will produce and then will produce to Weber its units and then uh, the cause of electromotive force and then to the Faraday's law then Lenz law and then in the last we we'll discuss again about Weber so this is about short brief fiction uh, of uh, this lecture so in very first we'll discuss about flux flux is noted by phi this is a symbol of magnetic flux and the definition of magnetic flux is the uh, it is defined as basically the surface integral uh, surface integral basically an uh, integral around that the surface of magnetic field uh, of the normal component of the magnetic field suppose we have a, a, a magnet and around that magnetic, magnet we have a magnetic field and in magnetic field magnetic field lines are passing and with the passing of that magnetic field line we produce magnetic flux so this is the um, the amount of flux basically a passing through unit area perpendicular to the field is equal to the field strength so basically this is equal to the field strength and the field strength is denoted by h we'll discuss h about in previous section in previous video so the field strength is equal to the amount of flux per unit area and the flux is the field strength times area flux here is equal to strength uh, field strength h into times the area so the SI unit of uh, basically field strength is uh, or rested and the overall unit uh, of flux will be equal to or rested uh, or rested and centimeter square so here uh, will uh, denoted area as centimeter square in CGS units so it is also basically equal to the maximal uh, and uh, in SI units uh, the expression for flux uh, is basically a mu naught h a we'll discuss uh, next in uh, phi is equal to mu naught h a so here basically uh, uh, mu naught h a and the unit of flux is basically called the weber uh, and in the next we'll discuss about uh, uh, that how uh, changing flux create electric current so basically a magnetic flux is important because a changing flux generates an electric current in any circle which is intersects suppose we have a magnetic field lines are passing through some magnetic field and uh, with the uh, changing in that magnetic field lines magnetic flux will produce and uh, the changing magnetic flux will produce electric current in opposite direction to the magnetic flux so so here we also uh, define the electromotive force that is equal to the rate of change of the flux linked with the circuit so here in this circuit will electromotive force if e will be introduced and that is equal to the rate of change of the flux that is a d phi over dt with this circuit dt so here flux will be equal to the uh, rate of change of flux and to the times the circuit so here minus sign denote that uh, the, the electric current we are uh, producing is basically the uh, in the opposite direction to the magnetic flux to the changing magnetic flux basically so this expression is also called the Faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction uh, because it is the expression of uh, Faraday's law so the electromotive force what is the function of basically the, the electromotive force it is provides us to the additional potential difference the electromotive force provides the additional potential difference which drives electric current around any circuit so basically electromotive force has a potential difference to provide karti hai, and with the using of that potential difference we drive electric current and that electric current is always in, in is in the opposite direction to the magnetic flux so this is also the uh, definition of Lenz's law minus sign uh, basically uh, show us to the Lenz's law the minus sign show the electric current set up to the magnetic field which acts in the opposite direction to the magnetic field this is also known as the Lenz's law basically so this 1.9 equation is also the Friday's law of electromagnetic interaction in terms of changing magnetic flux create electric current and the minus sign uh, basically defined as the Lenz's law so the phenomena of electromagnetic induction leads us to the alternating definition of flux so in the SI units basically of one flux a flux of one Weber uh, uh, the SI units of flux is Weber when we reduce one Weber to the zero in one second 
so it will produce an electromotive force and the electromotive force will provide us the potential difference of one volt so this one volt will uh, uh, turn the whole coil through which it passes and this potential difference will create electric current of one ampere and uh, and this uh, uh, one ampere current uh, will produce in, in the pressure difference of one volt in one second so this is all the definition of flux in one vapor so one vapor so it is basically the definition of one vapor of flux of one vapor so in this whole video we will discuss about magnetic flux changing magnetic flux their units uh, and then the uh, change in magnetic flux and then electromotive force and then uh, Friday's law and then the lens's law of electromagnetic induction so I'm ho hopeful that you will be understand about this video so in in our next video we discuss about more uh, about this magnetic field uh, magnetism properties their functions and their applications so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe uh, this video uh, this channel 